In this video, we're going to look at an example where we are given the slope of a line and a point on that line, and we have to come up with the equation of the line. All right, so the, the slope that we're going to be given is negative 3 over 5, and we also know that our line goes through the point 2, 4. Now, there's only one line that will, that will meet these criteria. There's only one line that will go through the point 2, 4 and have this slope. And we could come over here and graph it. But actually, I'm going to go through a, a formula first, and then we're going to graph it and show how the formula did give us the, the right um, equation. So what we want to use to do this is something called the point-slope formula. And if you don't know this, then you need to memorize it. Point-slope formula. And it says y minus, and I'm going to color code this a little bit, y1 equals, I'm going to make this next one, how about green, m times x minus x1. All right, so I color coded those to go with the values that we need to plug in. The x1 and the y1 are the variables that stand for the values of the point that you're given. So the x1 is 2 and the y1 is 4. And then, of course, the m is the slope. And what we're going to do is we're going to plug these three values into this formula where, the three, um, where we have the three variables that are different colors other than blue. And then the x and the y that are blue, those are going to end up being the x and y that are in your equation. So you want to leave those as x and y. All right, let's plug this in and see what happens. So we'll bring down the y, bring down the minus. Now for y1, I'll stay color-coded for one more step. For my y1, that's 4, equals m, which is negative 3, um, negative 3 fifths. All right, times x minus, and then my x1 value is 2. That's the first step. Now from here, all we really need to do is clean this up, you know, do a little uh, simplifying and solve it for y. So first thing we're going to do is distribute this negative 3 fifths into the parentheses. We're going to put it in, in slope-intercept form in y equals mx plus b form. So we get y minus 4 equals negative 3 fifths x, and then negative 3 fifths times 2, you could think of that as 2 over 1 if you want. A negative times a negative makes a positive, and then we have 6 on the top and 5 on the bottom. All right, so now to solve for y, we're just going to add 4 to both sides. And you could get a common denominator here, but really this is one you could do in your head by converting the 6 fifths to um, a mixed number. 6 fifths is the same as 1 and 1 fifth. So 1 and 1 fifth plus 4 would be 5 and 1 fifth. And that is the equation of your line. Now let's take a look at the graph. So you can see that this equation does make sense. Um, another formula that you should know is the slope-intercept form. Slope-intercept. And that is y equals mx plus b, where b is your y-intercept and m is your slope. So in this equation that we came up with, we have negative 3 fifths as our slope, which we already know that's true, so that's good. And then we've got 5 and 1 fifth as our y-intercept. So we're going we're gonna to see if we graph using the uh, given information, whether we actually come up with a y-intercept of 5 and 1 fifth. So our given information, the information we started with, is that our line goes through the point 2, 4. So we're going to go over 2, up 4. Now this part I'm doing here is just to verify my answer. I'm done. I've, I've solved the problem. This is the answer. I'm just showing you now um, that it does make sense. So, and if you have time, it's good to, to take an extra step and check your answer and see if it makes sense. Okay, so over 2, up 4, there's that point, And then I know I have a slope of negative 3 fifths. A lot of times when we're graphing, we start our slope from our y-intercept, but we don't know our, we weren't given our y-intercept. So we're, we can start your slope from anywhere, any point on the line. So we're going to do our slope from this point that we were given to 4. And I'm going to go down 3, right 5. Remember, slope is rise, 
over run. And I'm going to apply the negative to the top. You could apply the negative to either the top or the bottom. So if you apply the negative to the top, you're going to go down 3 and then write 5. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Wait a minute. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 would be over here. Okay. Right there. There we go. And there's your line. Now, like I said, I could apply the negative to the bottom. If I applied the negative to the bottom and thought of my slope as 3 over negative 5, then I would rise 3 and run negative 5. So that would be up 3, left 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I count that right. Yep, there it is. Okay, so you can see either way you go, those are going to line up. And then you could draw it. Let's draw a nice line here because that's pretty good. Now, if you notice, where is the y-intercept of this line? Where is it? Right there. It seems to be just barely above 5, with, which corresponds with our equation. We got 5 and 1 fifth is our y-intercept, and a little sketch of this graph certainly shows that 5 and 1 fifth is uh, a reasonable estimation for the y-intercept. And actually, because we got it out of the point-slope formula, it's not an estimation at all. 5 and 1 fifth is the exact y-intercept. If we graphed this, we'd have a hard time determining what the y-intercept was because it's just barely above 5. We might have guessed 5 and a third or something. So to get the exact answer of 5 and a fifth, you really do need to go through this formula.